I think we're in uncharted waters and from what I can interpret, there seem to be attempts to block independent commissions of parliament from tabling their reports, meaning the Auditor General and the Integrity Commission. If you take the Integrity Commission, for example, reports were tabled in the Senate on Friday. They were not tabled in the House. We don't know why. Secondly, there are reports, the annual report of the Integrity Commission has been sent to the House for over a week. It has not been tabled in the House. It has not been tabled in the Senate. No explanation was given for those. Bless up, bless up, my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so you won't miss an upload from me on the road to 10k. Help me to get there, my people. So, in this one, my people, this one has to do with the house speaker, Mrs. Marissa Dalrymple Philibert, who, my people, has delayed to table reports from the Auditor General for over three months, my people. And right now, my people, she come and she use, um, you know, things to justify her actions. And Mark Golden, the opposition leader, as well as Julian Robinson, come out and them are going to add and say, when is it that she gets so much authority to do something like that? So I want to listen to them few clippings of my people and tell me what you think. Why she would have taken so long? Even reports from the Integrity Commission was delayed for over a week, both in the lower house and the upper house. And we all know my people say Tom Tavares Finson is the house speaker for the lower house and Dalrymple is the house speaker for the upper house. So let take a listen, my people. The Integrity Act went further and it amended another section, section 73D. And that standing order clearly sets out how the report of the Integrity Commission should be treated and as a speaker of this house despite the previous practice for or however long the practice has taken place i feel compelled to abide by the laws and the standing orders well i think we're in uncharted waters and from what I can interpret, there seem to be attempts to block independent commissions of parliament from tabling their reports, meaning the Auditor General and the Integrity Commission. If you take the Integrity Commission, for example, reports were tabled in the Senate on Friday. They were not tabled in the House. We don't know why. Secondly, there are reports, the annual report of the Integrity Commission has been sent to the House for over a week. It has not been tabled in the House. It has not been tabled in the Senate. No explanation was given for those. I don't believe the Speaker should be getting involved because the Auditor General process allows the respective ministry agency or department to respond to findings from the Auditor General. And those findings are contained in the reports which are tabled in Parliament. And I believe what is happening is going to whittle away the independence of the Auditor General because the Auditor General's report should not be subject to a minister's review. Right now as well, my people, the opposition leader Mark Golin coming out against it just the same, asking what's the reason for the delay and them now have the authority for the delayed reports any at all. He's saying that the Speaker and the Senate President are supposed to serve as conduits through which the reports delivered to the Parliament and then to the public. So he's saying their delay in tabling the reports is to try to sabotage the public from seeing and knowing of the investigations in corrupted acts of the members of parliament tell me what you think about that to my people because of that the line they may think down they have something covering up and something where them don't want the public to be aware of but the people them don't attack and say corruption fill in the whole political uh, arena amongst the MPs them and so them can't get that out of the mind of people when time they're going around and hiding and covering up things 
You understand? They might try to get rid of the Auditor General and that they want to do. So right now, you know where they must say my people? All of the tabling of reports from the Integrity Commission must go to the Oversight Committee before it goes to the public in the future. So they might change up the thing, my people. Because apparently them I try them very best to get rid of the watchdog, which is the integrity commission. We in pan this and tell me what you think my people. What are their motives? What kind of agenda they might try get to when time they might delay the tabling of reports of investigation from the integrity commission? The opposing party also saying my people that it's evident that she doesn't understand the whole constitution and the laws of Jamaica. So tell me what you think about all of what unfold in this video, my people. Drop some comment while you're at it. Drop a like on the video just the same. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel on the road to 10K. Run go over to my other platforms, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, my people. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member of the channel. We do notification shout out in each and every video. To be a part of that, it's very simple. You have to be the first to comment and like, and you'll be featured in the following video. This notification shout out goes to Albert Rami. Big up yourself, Albert Rami. Thanks to all of the support from each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board, join the family. Subscribe to the channel, journey with me. Stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself.